at the moment being heavily supported just prior to the off, Lydia. Interesting. Any outsiders that you want to mention? Spring Jim's an interesting contender from a yard you'd expect with their horses that they choose to go hurdling with. Jim, J uh, James Fanshaw trains him. He'll travel really well. I thought the Nicky Henderson a fit, uh, looks like second string. General Miller would run well. I didn't think he stayed two mile five in Restless Harry's race. He had strongly run two miles. I still think he's a horse of potential. He's a likeable horse, isn't he? got a good attitude. I think he formed every bit as good as his stable companion on what he's achieved. And there are the crowds gathered for this very f first race. The roar of anticipation is unparalleled, I think, in racing as the tapes go up for the first race, which they will do in a few seconds' time. This is the first race of Cheltenham 2010. Is the Spinal Research Supreme Novices Hurdle, over two miles and half a furlong. And it is Dunguive's big day for now. He's four to five. Let's go and join our commentator. It's Richard Hoyles to take you through the Supreme. So the runners for the Spinal Research Supreme Novices Hurdle being called out and to pinch one of the names of one of the runners. The festival that has always seemed so far away is now so close as they line up with Dunguib being lined up about halfway back through the field as they're just being asked to gently come out onto the race course and face the starter for the first race. They're off. Raw sends them on their way for the Spinal Research Supreme Novices Hurdle and on the run towards the first, it's Coot Hill who shows up as they take the first flight. Dunguive settled towards the back of the field and General Miller is a faller at flight number one or unseated his rider to be more precise and is out of the contest. And Dunguive's racing keenly towards the outside of the field, also racing keenly his chain of command as Coot Hill leads Fielin in the early stages. Dan Breen shows in third, flat out is in fourth with Oscar Whiskey and Black Stair Mountain. Towards the inside is Hollins with Menorah, get me out of here, white cap position in midfield, the pace is generous enough, they're getting a little bit more strung out Vino Griego is currently in the midfield in company with Dream Esteem Dunguib's black and white colours are towards the stand side of the rear group Takistan, far away so close and chain of command are all in the rear division with Mr Wall Street as the leader Coot Hill steps over, flight number two, jumping out to the right in the process, so out in front, Fialin has been handed the initiative by Coot Hill's errant leap at the second and leads the turn away. Black and white hoops with the white sheepskin noseband Dan Breen from flat out the grey on the outside of Oscar Whiskey in blue and white. Black stair mount in the pink colours for a menorah in the blue and white towards the rails. Get me out of here in the hoop colours. White cap from Spring Jim who races in about 10th or 11th on the outside of Hollins and Vino Grego. Then Dream Esteem. Dunguib currently has four behind at this stage and they are Mr. Wall Street, Chain of Command, Takistan and far away so close. So they're racing towards the next two flight of the hurdles on the side of the race course. Fielin and Coot Hill continuing to show the way from Oscar Whiskey and Dan Breen as they step over that. Dunguib, the first semblance of any mistake, just rattled the top bar, but it hasn't stemmed his momentum. A more serious error back through the field for Mr. Wall Street. So they're heading on towards flight number four. Fielin on the inside of Coot Hill. Oscar Whiskey continuing to track the leaders with Dan Breen as they make their progress on towards the next flight. Flat out, Menorah and Black Stair Mountain along with Get Me Out of Here. A cluster of high-profile horses then just behind the front quartet as they step over that, at which Hollins made a slight mistake towards the inside. Dunguib, no move yet, has held a similar position throughout, round about four from the back towards the outside of the field, steering clear of trouble as they head on towards flight number five. Turning then at the far end, Coot Hill back with a narrow advantage from Fielin in second place as they take the fifth. Oscar Whiskey pecked again, Dunguib just rattled his way through it. Very similar mistakes at uh, flights three and five by the market leader. The rear of the field being pushed along now and finding this a bit hot is Mr. Wall Street. Takistan is the back marker. So Coot Hill leads the descent towards the third last in the Spinal Research Supreme. By a length from Fielin in second place, Dan Breen is third. Oscar Whiskey from flat out, then between horses, Black Stair Mountain from Get Me Out of Here. Spring Jim Dungui beginning to improve towards the outside in the black and white colours as they descend the hill, getting a good look a wide out of the third last flight, which the leaders now take. Uh, they are all over uh, safely amongst the leading group. Menorah's coming there strongly on the inside to throw it down to Dan Breen. Get Me Out of Here begins his move with Oscar Whiskey, then Coot Hill. Flat out and Black Stair Mountain. So all of those in the market behind Dungui are making their efforts earlier than the favourite. There was a jink there in front by Dan Breen. Put off 
off Menora and get me out of here. And Dungweave is improving towards the outside in the black and white. They now have this longer run than usual to the final flight. It's Menora who leads. Get me out of here. Slipstreaming the leader, Dungweave, producing his cards towards the outside. Now for Brian O'Connell down towards the last. Menora got first run with Get Me Out of Here. Dungweave now facing the stiffest fight of his hurtling career. Menora at the last from Get Me Out of Here. Dungweave trying to join in, but it's Menora who sets up on the run in. Get Me Out of Here in second place. Dungweave in third. Menora being furiously ridden. Get Me Out of Here gets to within a neck for the Spinal Research Supreme. Goes to Menora. Beat off Get Me Out of Here. Dungweave was only third. Oscar Whiskey fourth and Flat Out was fifth. Menora has won a positive ride from the second last under Richard Johnson. Memories of Ascot totally erased. And Menora has proved just how good he is. And Philip Hobbs has got a win in the race in which he's hit the crossbar a few times. And Richard Johnson is delighted. In second is another very good novice. Get me out of here. Tony McCoy riding for John Joe O'Neill. He tried to run Menora down, just didn't quite get there. And third, the mighty Dungweave's colours have been lowered. He took an outside route. He played safe, Brian O'Connell, and the horse was there with every chance, but wasn't able to bridge that gap that Richard Johnson had set. 